Hey guys, so a large part of living healthy is also eating healthy and that's something that's super important to me. So today I'm going to show you a couple of my favourite low calorie recipes that are not only tasty but are also quick and easy to prepare. Generally my cooking is very very fast free and simple because I'm always on the go and I always just want to get my food from the kitchen to my stomach like ASAP. This is also a highly highly requested video so I hope you enjoy it and also give these recipes a go. I'm going to show you how to make a simple omelette in a mug. So this recipe is great because it utilizes whatever ingredients you have in your fridge and if you're using the ingredients that I'm using, you're only at about 140 calories for a meal. All you need are two eggs, some cherry tomatoes, spinach and I've also got some feta cheese. First, I'm using some extra virgin olive oil. Just take a bit and you want to grease your mug so that the eggs don't stick to your mug. And then next, you want to crack your eggs in beat them. I got some cherry tomatoes. I'm just gonna half them. Put it inside my mug. And then I got my spinach. I just like to put a bit of feta on top for some extra taste. Season with some salt and pepper. I love pepper so I'm gonna put a lot. And this is gonna go into the microwave for about two to three minutes. And then once it's done, you have your entire meal. I'm the kind of person who likes to cook in bulk and I'll just keep it in the fridge and then I'll microwave as in when I'm hungry. So I love the microwave, you know. I know a lot of people are against the microwave and say that there's radiation and it's super unhealthy. But personally, I think microwaves are just lifesavers. Mmm, I smell the eggs. <laughs> okay. And there you have it, this is my finished product. It doesn't look like super beautiful or anything like that, but it smells very delightful, it smells warm. It's a perfect breakfast or snack. And the best part is that there's very little washing up. Ooh, can you hear the squish? Can you hear the squish? Mmm. Mmm. It's like a fluffy egg cake. Delicious breakfast that is so healthy and nutritious for you. Honestly, this whole meal took like 5 minutes to whip together. So, I highly recommend that you try this out. It smells so good. I want to make more. I'm obsessed. Mm. I'm a huge fan of pasta, but they're pretty high in carbs. So, for a low carb alternative, why don't you try some zoodles? They're basically noodles, but they're made from zucchini. And you make them by simply shredding a zucchini. So this is a shredder that shreds your veggies into strips. I don't really have a method to it. I just kind of go around and shred. And just one zucchini gives you so many noodles. In just this amount of zucchini, I think it's only what, 40 calories? If you were to have the same volume of pasta, you are looking at somewhere around 400 calories or 500 calories even. And this is why I love zoodles because you can eat them in abundance without feeling guilty. You can do this with cucumbers as well, but zucchinis are a lot firmer and the texture is closer to that of pasta. So now we're going to cook the zoodles and you're gonna use some extra virgin olive oil. So swirl around your olive oil. And now we're gonna add in our zoodles. Mm. So zoodles don't take long to cook, maybe about two to three minutes. I'm gonna add in my pasta sauce of choice, which is tomato sauce. I usually like using tomato sauce because tomato is very tangy and I love tangy food. So another great alternative that you can use is also pesto sauce. So normally I would just eat this by itself because I think it already tastes amazing. But for today, I want to make it a heartier meal. So I brought some leftover shredded chicken breast and I'm going to top the pasta with the chicken breast. But if you have things like you know tuna or minced beef or any kind of leftover meats or chickpeas are another great alternative, you can just use it to top off your pasta. And also to make your meal even more flavorful, you can add some herbs. To make it even prettier, you can top it off with some cheese and I'm using some of the feta cheese that I used just now. And voila! So I like using feta cheese because it's generally lower in calories than other cheeses. So obviously this is not the same as eating traditional pasta. But I would say that this is a very hearty meal on its own. And zucchini doesn't really have that strong vegetable taste that a lot of vegetable haters might not like. So I definitely recommend that if you're not someone who loves eating salads, to give this recipe a go. 
So if you're someone who really doesn't like cooking, then sandwiches are the way to go. I'm going to show you how to prepare a smoked salmon sandwich. Smoked salmon is just one of those luxurious treats that I like to give myself now and then. That is a break from my normal chicken breast. I have some smoked salmon, spinach, cherry tomatoes, some low-fat yogurt and multi-grain bread. So I generally recommend whole grain or wholemeal bread as opposed to white bread because this actually has more fibre and it keeps you fuller longer. For a spread, instead of using high calorie, high fat sauces like mayo or tata, you're gonna use some low fat yogurt. Two tablespoons of low fat yogurt is only 24 calories as opposed to spreads like mayo which is about 90 calories a tablespoon or you know having a spread like butter. Oh god, I got yogurt on my sleeve. This is what not to wear when you're doing a cooking show or cooking in general. I'm gonna add some spinach, put it on top and the yogurt actually helps stick the spinach onto the bread. It gets quite irritating, you know, when you're trying to eat a sandwich and your all your veggies just like kind of falling out of your sandwich. Now for the salmon, I'm gonna attempt to like make it look fancy. I think I'll probably fail. And I also have some cherry tomatoes So I'm just gonna fill in the gaps with my cherry tomatoes So you can have this sandwich open face just like that Or if you're packing it to go You can add another slice of bread on top So for a vegetarian option You can try a smashed avocado sandwich All you need is an avocado And then you're gonna cut it in the center so we're just gonna scoop our avocado out. This is the part I like the most about cooking. Peeling things, scraping things, and scooping things out. This is the most therapeutic part about cooking. So for a little kick, I've also cut up a wedge of lemon and I'm gonna squeeze that over my avocado. I love adding lemon to my food because it not only adds that zesty flavour, but it also improves your digestion. So you just go ahead and mash the avocado. I generally prefer my avocado spread a bit chunkier. I'm gonna spread it on my toast. I'm gonna finish it off by garnishing it with some cherry tomatoes. This is actually our highest calorie recipe for this episode. It's actually 300 calories and that's because of the avocado. Avocados are generally a high calorie fruit but I still recommend that you eat your avocados because they are one of the best sources of dietary fats and they keep you full throughout the day. In general, sandwiches are very versatile. You can use whatever you have left in your fridge to make a very healthy meal for yourself and you can get pretty creative with it. That's all the recipes I have for you today and I know there are a couple of ingredients that I use quite a few times like cherry tomatoes and spinach but that's just because these are some healthy staples that I always keep in my kitchen just to ensure that I always have healthy snacks on hand as opposed to you know reaching for a bag of chips. So remember to subscribe and hit the little bell so you always get a notification every time we post a new video or you can download the Click Network app so you can get early access to our videos before they hit YouTube. Take care.